Did you know that behind every stunning plant display, every carefully controlled ecosystem and fluttering butterfly at the Franklin Park Conservatory, there's math? Welcome to How It's Math. I'm Caroline and this is my math chicken. And today we're exploring one of the most beautiful places in Ohio, the Franklin Park Conservatory. But we're not just here to smell the flowers. We're here to dig into the numbers behind the nature. From designing the perfect flower bed to the symmetry in every butterfly, math is growing in every corner of this conservatory. Come behind the scenes with me to show how it's math. Doodly doodle, doodly doodle, doodly doodles and digits. Area symmetry fractions too. It's all here for you. All right, what is a conservatory? A conservatory is a place where we have collections of living plants. In the word conservatory, you might hear the word conserve, and we know that conserve kind of means to protect or keep something, and that's what we do with the plants. Sometimes I like to tell students we're like a zoo, but instead of for animals, we're a zoo for plants. So you can come and see plants from all around the world that you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. Let's talk to the staff at Franklin Park Conservatory to see how they use math. My name is Katie Spiker and I am the Botanical Gardens Manager here at Franklin Park Conservatory and Botanical Gardens. I work with a team that takes care of the bed maintenance out in all of the public areas of Franklin Park Conservatory. Things like weeding and watering and planting. What is a plant bed? So a uh, plant bed is a area out in a landscape that has different plants in it. How does a conservatory use math? So we use area actually quite a bit when we are doing a design of a space. Each plant has different spacing requirements. So in order to figure out how many plants you need to plant, you would find the overall area of the space and then take those spacing requirements to determine how many plants you need to fill an area. When designing a bed, we will use symmetry if the beds are on either side of one another. If there's a pathway going between the bed, sometimes the beds will match. What is a line of symmetry? A line of symmetry is a line that divides a shape into two mirror images. We also use symmetry when we are doing pruning. So when we are shaping a plant, a lot of times we want that to look symmetrical. Angles are also important in pruning. When pruning a tree, we would prune at acute angles. I'm Courtney Billings. I'm an exhibitions designer at Franco Park Conservatory. So at Franco Park Conservatory, I design their special exhibits, some special exhibits kind of all throughout the year. We have an art gallery, so I help manage and design all of those exhibits. So math is really important in designing exhibits because you need to know the scale of the space that you design in. You need to work on paper and in 3D models to design your elements and be able to then scale it up to the real environment like the one we have around us. So it's really helpful to use multiplication and division to be able to scale things up and down um, to meet the space that you're designing in and so that everything fits. This exhibit is the Blooms and Butterflies exhibit. All the signage and interpretation that goes along with the exhibition that we design every year. The content on the butterfly identification signage tells about the, the size of the butterflies and um, approximately how many. So right now we have around 2,000 butterflies in the garden. We um, tally them and keep track of how many we're releasing. So we have spreadsheets and um, tally sheets that help us to keep track throughout the whole season of the exhibit. What math tools do you use? So using a, you know, a tape measure to measure spaces and be accurate about measurement is really important. But I do a lot of my work in 3D models. So I use programs like SketchUp, I use the Adobe Creative Suite, like Photoshop, Illustrator. Those tools help me uh, be able to yeah, be as accurate as I can in designing things at the right scale. My name is Jessie Mace Frelick, and I am the Youth Program Senior Manager here at the Conservatory. If you come here for a camp or a nature school or you visit the children's garden, I help make those programs happen. We try to integrate math into a lot of our educational programming and sometimes it might be in ways that you wouldn't expect or ways that are a little bit unique. So for instance, when we schedule our programs. So on a busy day, we can have 
up to 500 students here on a day to visit for field trips. When we're scheduling our programs, we have a pretty intricate table that we use um, that sort of has all of the different times that we can schedule a program. On one side, all of the different programs that we can do across the top, and then um, we're able to slot all of our schools into that table. Another way that I use math is when we're trying to identify different butterfly species or figure out the gender of a butterfly, we are looking at patterns. So we might be taking measurements to see how far apart different spots or veins or stripes on a butterfly are. We might be counting those and that helps us um, identify those butterflies. Butterfly bodies are symmetrical. If we were to draw a line down the center of the butterfly right through its body, both sides left and right would be the same. So their wings have the same pattern on both sides. They have two wings on each side and everything should theoretically match up. The conservatory wants to plant a symmetrical vegetable garden. They want it to have reflection symmetry. What plants are missing on the right side of the line? We needed to add some lettuce and a carrot, just like this. Look, here is the line of symmetry. Or this is the spot where if you folded the vegetable garden in half, the two halves would perfectly match. Did you get it correct? I've actually been at Franklin Park for seven years and have absolutely loved being within the public garden space. Each day that I work is totally unique and it's really cool to be able to apply the skills in different ways. I use math and art together all the time in my career now as an adult. If you enjoy math, please stick with it and don't let other people tell you that you shouldn't enjoy it. My name is Jessie. My name is Courtney. My name is Katie. I'm an educator. I'm an exhibitions designer. And I'm a horticulturalist. And, and this, this is, is how it's math. math. Like this video? Find more at doodleslearning.com.